for over 1,200 subscribers, we have bust out the entire hive of bees in order to count down the top 10 bumblebee figures in my collection. Now, just to make sure that we all understand this, these are bumblebees that I own currently. They're in my collection. I can't use any bumblebee that's coming out. I can't use a mold that is used for bumblebee. It has to be bumblebee in my collection. Alongside that, guys, I just want to thank you for 1,200 subscribers. I know this one's just a bit late getting out, but hey, we're still going to be able to look at an entire gaggle of our favorite yellow boy. Number 10 might be a bit of a controversial pick, but I really do enjoy the Cyberverse Allspark Armor Bumblebee. Now, his battleship armor doesn't look great, but his car mode looks pretty good, even though it really could use some extra paint. But the robot mode is where it really comes together for me. He's obviously missing his door wings, but in truth, I like how this Bumblebee looks without them. I think he has very solid proportions. I like how you can kind of change around how his shoulder kibble works, give him a few different looks, depending on what you'd like. Overall, he's just a good feeling, good playing, good posing Bumblebee that is a little bit different from the other Bumblebees in terms of design, proportions, and even basic elements like the door wings, and his head is just a touch unique. I think it's mostly just because they didn't really paint it all that well. It's not everyone's favorite Bumblebee. I could see a lot of people never even thinking about putting him in on a top 10 list, but I'd be lying to say I didn't like this guy. We're just keeping the controversial takes going with number 9, because yes, absolutely, I would say Rescue Bots Mombi is one of my top 10. I like Rescue Bots. I think that they're cute little toys, and they're usually fun to kind of flip back and forth. Bumblebee here, really solid. His head, of course, invokes the Prime Bumblebee because that is who this character is. And his transformation works very well. You just flip the hood and boom, everything just kind of folds into place, giving you a very nice looking car mode. And then, boop, you pull him right back out. That's the fun of Rescue Bots is they're good, chunky figures that have pretty impressive one-step transformations. No articulation, but guess what? For the audience that these things are made for, which is to say preschoolers, they don't need articulation. They need cool transformation, and that's what this guy has in spades. This would have been my second Bumblebee ever. But you see, all the way back in 2007, I asked for G1 Bumblebee, because I already had Movie Bumblebee, he was my second Transformer ever, but I wanted G1 Bumblebee too. My parents don't know what that means, so they go to a store, and sure enough, they found this guy, the Titanium 3-inch G1 Universe Bumblebee. It's not transforming, it's just a tiny die-cast figure with waist articulation and arm articulation, and the gun is removable. Oh, I forgot, there was also wrist articulation, that's pretty neat. So, these titanium 3-inch figures, a lot of people really dog on them, and for the most part, I get it, I think quite a few of them are pretty rough, but Bumblebee actually is really nice. I love how they kept the toy design of keeping the arms, like the wheels on the arms. I like his proportions. It's a good little mini Bumblebee if that's what you want in your collection. At number seven, it's the Netflix Siege Bumblebee. Now I know what people are gonna say, but this is the Generations Bumblebee. This is the one that turns into the Volkswagen Beetle. If you don't want the pure cartoon design, this is still the best Generations Bumblebee. I hear all those arguments. To some extent, I agree with those arguments. But truth be told, this just isn't really in my top pantheon of bumblebees. It's a good figure, a great one even. But this mold, to me, is always going to be cliff jumper first and foremost. They were able to get a nice bumblebee out of it. They, of course, re-sculpted a ton of the parts in order to get that Volkswagen Beetle mode. But for me personally, we're kind of at a point where bumblebee isn't a Volkswagen anymore. He's a sports car or maybe an SUV. But a Volkswagen? Uh, that ship's kind of sold for people like me. But at the same time, for people who grew up with G1 and are continuing their Generations collection, absolutely, this is a wonderful Bumblebee. Just not my personal Bumblebee, you know? This is so much more my speed. At number six, we have the Studio Series Rise of the Beast Bumblebee. This was actually Studio Series number 100, and it's a wonderful figure. A great deluxe that does invoke the Bumblebee movie, if you remember his last scene with Optimus. But this is his design from Rise of the Beast. It is probably my favorite movie design we've ever had for Bumblebee. This is a great figure with awesome articulation. My one gripe, they could have painted the blade silver on the knife. But other than that, I really adore this figure to every capacity. The car mode is awesome. I love this paler yellow that the figure has because it looks more like the actual movie. And I think if you're in the market for a modern movie Bumblebee, 
This is probably the best figure he's received in a pretty long while. At number 5, we do another one of my childhood favorites, that being the Elite Guard Bumblebee from Animated. The Animated Bumblebee is honestly one of the best animated deluxes. Such a careful figure with awesome articulation, a beautiful car mode, a really intuitive transformation. But personally, I prefer his Elite Guard colors. I love the black, the gold, the hits of yellow throughout. It's basically the stealth mode Bumblebee that we used to get all the time, that color scheme. I kind of hate that we don't get more inverted colored bumblebees. The stealth coloration always works on these molds. It's a shame that Hasbro seems to have moved away from it in recent years, because they often look pretty good. Case in point, look at this boy. Given how much I love this line, I think a lot of people would have assumed that the MDLX30 bumblebee would have been number one, but no, he's number four, just barely making it onto Mount Rushmore. As much as I do love this line, and I do like this bumblebee, the original release is just too yellow. They've done cartoon coloration since then that have turned his pelvis and his arms black. I do think that looks better. But for this original release, the release I have, still an amazing figure. One of the best posing and playing and looking Bumblebees of all time. He really is just let down by the ocean of yellow that is his color scheme. Had he been given a little bit more of that gunmetal gray we see throughout the figure, he could have easily been number one. Even still, he's still one of my favorite Bumblebees of all time, so it's not exactly like I'm dissing this figure. I think some people might call for my head after this, but my third favorite Bumblebee in my entire collection is my Earthspark Deluxe Bumblebee. I just think from a design standpoint, this is one of the strongest modern Bumblebees ever. It's doing its own thing, making it unique, but you see a little bit of movie, you see a little bit of Cyberverse, you see a little bit of G1, all kind of married together to make this perfect perfect evergreen style bumblebee. Earlier, I said that people would probably say that Netflix bumblebee is the ultimate generation's bumblebee. But honestly, I think nowadays, especially if you're building a more IDW flavored generation shelf, this is the best bumblebee. It is an amazing figure with a great transformation, a bit of an iffy car mode, admittedly, but a wonderful robot mode that is so organic, easy to pose, great looking. The only issue I have with the robot mode is the fact that there's a difference between the plastic yellow and the paint yellow. That's an issue across all of Hasbro though, I'm not going to knock this figure specifically for it. It is a great bumblebee that can fit so many niches, fills so many holes on a toy shelf, and ultimately is one of my favorite bumblebees just to pick up and play with. But there are a couple that I do like just a touch more than him. At number two, it has to be Origin Bumblebee. This is my favorite G1 style Bumblebee toy. Yes, he turns into the Cybertronian spacecraft that may not work in every collection, but the robot mode is so cartoon accurate, they actually managed to capture the weirdness that is the G1 Bumblebee head. And the figure is so poseable, it's gorgeous. The yellows match so well throughout the entire figure. His proportions are on point. He's a bit smaller than other deluxes, absolutely, but he makes up for it with a very good transformation and a solid enough accessory count. This is one of the best Bumblebees of all time. If we were being objective, this might be number one on the list, but there is just one Bumblebee that's gonna be my favorite, and it's gonna beat this guy out every single time. At number one, it is the original 2007 movie, 2007 concept series Camaro Bumblebee. This was my second Transformer of all time. I bought him the same day I, I bought Classics Starscream. These two are the reasons why I fell in love with Transformer toys, and the toys are the reason I fell in love with Transformers as a whole. This Bumblebee has issues, don't get me wrong. He has been remade and outdone countless times. His proportions are odd, his colors a bit too dark, his transformation a little too overcomplicated. But I love this guy. I can't tell you how many adventures this Bombi would have gone on. I can't tell you how many nights I would have been playing with this guy alongside my Starscream, my Generations Cup, my eventually my Generations Soundwave. This figure takes me right back to childhood. Is he the best Bumblebee? No. But if I had to get rid of every other Bumblebee in my collection, I would keep this guy. And that's all that matters. Besides, his car mode is still really solid, and he has one of my favorite weapons in all of Transformers. Big meaty gun, but then bop bop, cool knife. Does your Bumblebee have a gun that turns into a cool knife? I didn't think so. 
Bringing in my top three again, I will say, out of the big four, Bumblebee is not a character I would go for every single time. Megatron's my favorite, followed by Starscream, and then I do try to get as many Optimus Primes as I can. Bumblebees, I always kind of pass over because there's been so many of them. But a reason there's been so many of them is because so many people love Bumblebee, and so many of his figures turn out to be pretty solid, all things considered. I might have different tastes in Bumblebee compared to others. I'm sure you look at any other YouTuber, they probably would put Masterpieces, Third Parties, 3-0. That would be their top three. But for me, it's more important to see some childhood love, a little bit of a new, unique G1 styling, and hey, you can always pander to me with Earthspark. Why not? At the end of the day, this was just my personal opinions. Who are your favorite Bumblebees? Do you have a top 10 yourself, maybe? And at the end of the day, thank you guys so much for getting me to 1,200 subscribers. We're actually a lot closer to 1,300 subscribers now, so we're probably going to be doing another video like this before too long. But thank you guys so much for the time you've given me. And hey, let's see what we get up to next time.